Hello vinyl community. Another video about music I have been listening to in the last days. Mm. Um, so yesterday I was uh, listening to this album which is Barbes by Rashid Taha. Now uh, Rashid Taha is a musician of a genre that is called Rai. And Rai music uh, it's interesting. It is a music that comes from Algeria, but uh, the term actually means two different uh, musical styles. Well, not entirely different, but the original rhyme music comes from the 20s or 30s and uh, came up uh, around the city of Oran. And this was still during uh, uh, the time when Algeria was a French colony. And Rai music was, uh, I mean, the word Rai means in Arabic something like uh, an opinion or even advice. It was music played mostly at weddings, but uh, oftentimes it had, a, it had a very melancholical touch and uh, had a lot of themes of grievance, uh, mostly dealing with uh, the situation of poor people under this sort of uh, European occupation. So the Rai music I'm talking about in this context is uh, something that took place 50 years later. This is the music of, of Algerian immigrants in France. So Rai music mostly uh, happens in Paris, in Marseille. So that's why uh, modern Rai music oftentimes is described as rejuvenated Rai. So it is Rai music picked up by young musicians and uh, and they made it their own by using modern instruments, by using drum computers, by using uh, synthesizers. Uh, and it's a very it's a very sponge like style of music because it keeps incorporating and uh, adapting all kind of different musical styles ranging from the Arabic Vahran music to reggae to Spanish flamenco even hip-hop and jazz and a lot of pop sensibility so this gave rise to names like Sheb Khaled, Rashid Taha, um, Fadela and Sarui, Sheb Mami, uh, of course the youngsters like Fodel and many more. Barbès was uh, Rashid Taha's debut album and uh, it is uh, filled with uh, wonderful energy. There are many themes that uh, reflect the old age of Rai, but mostly it's a very, uh, very flamboyant and uh, very uh, uplifting Rai album. This one came on Mercury. So we'll kick out the label. Now, uh, Rai music is not something um, that you find easily on vinyl. There is a reason for that. Now, before Rai music came to fame in Paris mostly, in France in the mid 90s, uh, and then become sort of a world music phenomenon uh, printed on CDs, um, the base medium of this rather local Rai movement was not the vinyl but the cassette. So young Rai musicians, uh, they recorded their songs on tapes and printed their own covers and sold those tapes in in uh, well in the local places where they live. Well, in Barbès, for example, where a large part of the of the Algerian community of of Paris is living. So um so of course uh, with more success the step was from uh, tape to CD and uh, there is only very few material from the Rai, from the musical Rai environment uh, printed on vinyl. So I don't have met much Rai on vinyl. Um, now uh, in the late 90s a vibrant club and DJ scene uh, picked up on Rai and showed interest. So. That's where this album comes from. It's a, it's a 12 inch with remixes um, by a track by Khaled featuring Amar. Um, the track is called 
Al Harba Wine, which uh, means something like escaping, but where? So it's more of a question. Uh, this is remixed by uh, some really big names, for example, uh, Trans Global Underground, uh, Nitin Sony. So here you get this nice label. <laughs> Yeah, well, if you if you like to look into rare music, I don't know, maybe you can try to track down this CD here, uh, even though it has a little bit of a misleading cover, because this is not Berber music, this is rather uh, French uh, immigrant music with a lot of modern elements. Some of it is really quite, uh, quite uh, rock driven while others have more in common probably with the hip-hop there's also a track here by Fadela and Sarui which is remixed by Bill Laswell so maybe if you see it somewhere it should not be expensive it's it has uh, 14 tracks from 14 different Rai musicians it's a good entry point and uh, for change a DVD that I wanted to show you and it is called En de Trois Soleil um, and this is a concert DVD featuring R the aforementioned Rashid Taha, Khaled and Fodel. Now this is a wonderful concert and uh, the sound of this is really good and really, uh, really powerful. And uh, it should be mentioned that this is musically produced by Steve Hillage. Now Steve Hillage has, uh, in, in the 90s, uh, really embraced Rai music um, and uh, became a producer of the biggest names of Rai, mostly Khaled, who oftentimes is called the King of Rai. So um, yeah, I really like this concert. I mean, it's really powerful music. I mean, it comes with a really a sort of a uh, prog rock-like uh, attitude by featuring a giant uh, orchestra and a lot of uh, great musicians. Now this noise here was the cat, who likes to jump at everything. Good morning. So, that's Rai music. Um, the other album I heard just yesterday is uh, <laughs> Whose Side Are You On? by Matt Bianco. Now this is a well-known album and uh, actually one of those really classic albums of the 80s. Now in the 80s um, the top 10 music was quite checkered, right? There were tracks that were really banal and plain silly, while uh, other bands have shown an astounding level of sophistication. And this is the category where this band certainly belongs to. This was their debut album. Um, and uh, it sounds really wonderful. I mean, I'd, I haven't heard it for a while, and uh, this is the kind of music, you put it on, you drop the needle, and after 30 seconds you go like... And you just can't stop, it's just that kind of music. So wonderful! That's really a great uh, uplifting sound. So you see, I'm not only listening to gloomy music, I do Matt Bianco too. <laughs> and finally this album which is really wonderful. Um, this is Arriving and Caught Up by uh, Anna Palm. Anna Palm is a British mu musician, I think. And uh, um, now this is an album, I would say, from early 90s. I'm looking it up now and I don't see it. Oh yeah, 1990. So this is like an album that came with the 90s. and. Um, I discovered it because I saw Anna Palm in concert and she was supporting uh, Anne Clark in Munich and this must have been probably 1991 maybe and um, I thought she was wonderful. Now she's a singer and she plays a violin on stage so um, the music is uh, quite dynamic and um, now if I had to describe this album musically um, this is like a mixture of, um, well, imagine a crossover of Kate Bush and Laurie Anderson. 
Yeah, I think this is not such a bad comparison. And uh, yeah, it's a very intelligent and uh, very intriguing music. It's not a difficult music to get into. It's very melodic, very lyrical. Um, and um, I really like it. So I hope I could intrigue you in any way and you found this mildly interesting. Um, if yes, um, well, give me a, give me a, your like, your thumb up. And um, well, you could, you could also push this red button. And uh, so uh, I see a clear sign of interest and know that I am on the right track doing the right thing. That's always uh, the question in this YouTube environment, right? Who am I talking to? So, um, I will keep you posted about uh, the records I'm hearing. And bye-bye. Um,